What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live, breaking down this upcoming Summer League slate. I repeat, Summer League slate. Before we begin, hit the like button for me. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's going to be a ton, as y'all know. So, with the men's international basketball now wrapped up, we did good over there. I was excited about having that slate now, but we have Summer League. So, Summer League, I, I will tell you all that the biggest news is going to be on Twitter. You're really going to need to follow the beat writers because starting lines will change. Minutes will vary. So you're really going to have to keep an eye on who is starting and who's not because that's where the edge is going to be. Because a lot of people are just going to try to plug in the highest price players and not realize where the minutes are going to be. But I'm excited about Summer League. We're obviously trying to kick it off for NBA. So nonstop, there's going to be content for basketball. But like I said, we have MMA still happening tonight, which is looking good so far. A lot of knockouts that we'd like to see. But you all are here for NBA, and the presenting sponsor of the show is going to be Prize Picks. Go check out Prize Picks. Use my promo code. I'll add that below. They're going to have Summer League also, which I'm already liking a couple of plays over there, which you all will be able to see in the Discord, which that link will be also in the description below. So there's a lot of links, obviously. So go check them out. And we still have the giveaway happening for the football card pack, which you all need to go look at that on Twitter because I'm looking to give away 2021 Chronicles football pack. So definitely check that out. That giveaway ends on Tuesday. So that would mean a lot to me if y'all wanted to go check that out. So let's start it off with Portland at Charlotte. So this is an interesting game. Some of these prices on the Portland team are definitely interesting. When we have guys like Ellaby at 6'2", that's a great price to have. Beasley at 5'8". Freed at 5'6". Way too cheap in my opinion. I love all these guys here. Portland is where I'm going to gonna want some of my value plays. But again, if we look at this, like we said, Malik, Michael Beasley, we know he is upside. So again, blanketly. 4-8. I'm looking at the top prices, though, for these guys on Portland. Moutier, we know the veteran. You know he's a bet. We know he can run the point pretty well. I like that price tag for him, most definitely. But on the Charlotte side, uh, I do like Green Carey. We know what he brings to the table. He has double-double upside at 6-1. I like the price tag for him. I do I do like that a ton. If we go down and kind of look at a guy like not Lamelo, not Lonzo, Leangelo, 4-4. I like that price tag for him, especially if he does start at 4-4. We know he has potential. He's not as good as the other two brothers, but it's a ball brother. We know what he can bring to the table. I don't mind his price tag there whatsoever, and he's a very cheap price tag. This is an okay game, though. I'm not really getting a ton of pieces out of this game, though, but there's a couple guys, like I said, that I would fill in my lineup if I need a filler play. But if we go to the Houston and Cleveland side, I do like this Houston team. This is where I'm going to be looking at some guys. So if we look at a guy like Kenyon Martin at 8-4, I know the price tag is a little high, but I do like what he brings to the table also where we know that he has a veteran potential, meaning that he's seen minutes already in the NBA compared to some of these other guys. If we look at a guy like Jalen Green, they're going to want some of him. Deshaun Tate, we could even see him play more minutes. I do like that. If we look at a guy like Kyrie Thomas, which we know what he brought also last year, I 5,000. So a lot of these guys that I don't mind on this team that we've seen in the NBA, they can certainly pop off and have big games. So looking on the Cleveland side, Okoro, this offense is going to be ran through Okoro and Mobley. I love, love, love these two guys. We know Mobley's going to play uh, some of these games, obviously, but I know he's going to sit on a couple. He, you know he's playing this first game. I love his upside at Mobley at 8-1. He's double-double potential, big man on the court. And the, like I said, the offense is going to be ran through him and Okoro, which I love Okoro at 8-6. I'd rather get to him than Kenny Martin, not going to lie. We Roger Thomas, we see him. We seen him from last season. I do like him. Stevens at five one. So again, the minutes are going to both be there. I definitely like a couple of these guys on this team. Let's go to Washington, Indiana. Still not one of my favorite games. We're, I'm still waiting on that game. But like I said, on this Washington team, if we look at a guy like Kasper at seven thousand, I do like him. The rookie. They're going to want to feature him. Obviously, the first round pick. I like the upside that he brings. Uh, and again, it's mainly just him. Maybe some Cassius Winston and Wright Foreman. I think Winston's going to deserve a shot here. I like that. If we look at Wright Foreman at 5,000, I don't mind it either. Um, but again, I, I'd rather get to the top guys on this team. On the Indiana side, if we look at a guy like Brissett, we know he's a big man. We know he has potential. I like that at 7'6". Uh, I wouldn't mind filling him in. But uh, maybe Goga, but he's injured. I don't imagine Goga playing. So if, in fact, Goga is out, we could see a guy like, well, let me find him, Burma start, which I do like his upside at the price tag of 4-2. So let's go to OKC in Detroit. 
if we look at OKC, obviously there's going to be a guy that stands out to you, to me. Uh, it's going to be Theo Mallon at 7-1. He's going to have to keep this team in check on the, against the Pistons, plain and simple. The Pistons are a powerhouse, which we'll look at that in a second. Terrence Mann, our Trey Mann, my bad. The brother, <laughs> I like that. After 6-2, the rookie, he's going to want to see some minutes. And then the Charlie Brown, if we remember him from last season, my goodness. But let's go to the Detroit team. I love this Detroit team. Obviously, though, the prices are skyrocketed up. 9-2 for C. Bay, 8-8 for Cade Cunningham, Isaiah Stewart, 7-9. If you're going to get a piece of this Detroit team, I wouldn't mind any of these guys. To be honest, you can pick and choose any of these guys on the Detroit team, especially Luke Garza at 5-1, who is my number one player that I do like on this Pistons team. But again, if you choose to play one of these Pistons guys, I, I would not blame you one bit for any of them. To be honest with you, Denver at Miami. On the Denver side, we need to watch the news on this team. So they had some issues with the COVID protocol. So there could be a lot of guys out on this team. I don't know which ones there is. There that I don't know which ones are going to be out. So we just need to keep in mind that this could be an eight-man rotation. And we go look at Twitter. So I'm not going to break down this Denver team until I know for sure who is in and who is out because uh, this could be a toss-up on this team. So just keep in mind, this may be one of our best value teams on the slate for this Denver team. So if you're sending a lineup for Denver, be careful and just wait and see who starts. But we can break down the Miami side. If we look at this side, Gabe Vincent at 7-5, I don't mind. But the guy I do want to look at is a guy like, let me find him. He's way too cheap. I know he, I just saw him. Yurt. So Yurt has been going off. At 5-3, I love his potential he's been tearing it up in LA I love his potential here that's kind of the main guy I want on this team and Lakers and Phoenix I don't really like a lot of pieces out of this teams so we look at the Phoenix side Jalen Smith I know they're going to want to get some him some run I, I don't mind that Alexander not really for me there's not really a much I want on this team but on the Lakers Kakak I like it at 6-5 I do like me some of Mac McGillan they're going to want to feature him at 5-1 maybe some gill, but again, I don't really want a lot of this game. So that kind of wraps up the slate for us guys. Again, thank you for tuning in. I hope everybody has a good and safe rest of their day and a happy summer league first day. Have a good one.